Hello everyone, my name is Bhushan Wag. Welcome back to my channel, The Vital Engineering. This week, I will add a new video to the NXCAD series that is how to use a reap command. I have already made three models for this tutorial. So let's move on to the NXCAD. I will start a new sketch on a front plane and draw a line. You will notice NXCAD doesn't snap point exactly at edge. So, in order to get the exact edge, go to the isometric view, don't exit the sketch and select intersection curve. Select the face of a cylinder, that's it, you got your edge. Now exit the sketch, select the reap command, just click on the plane where you want your reap. Now draw a line. You will notice NX is snapping point now. Here you can specify the distance from the extreme edges. Now exit the sketch. You can specify the thickness here, whether it is symmetrically or asymmetrically. Generally people face problem when reef is edge to edge. If I try to create a reef from edge to edge, It shows error. If I switch back to the last example, you will notice rib is not straight at the top cause some portion is moving up and here you don't have that space. That's the problem. So here we can't use a rib command. To solve this problem, we must use swept command. Start a new sketch on the top face of a cylinder. Now project the curve of a cylinder. Then create two lines and make it symmetric. Define a distance between them, say 10 mm. Now make these lines a construction line, trim unwanted curves and exit the sketch. Now start a new sketch on the top face of our block and project the curve we just created and exit the sketch. On the same face start a new sketch and project the vertical edge of rectangle. Then create two lines 10 mm apart from each other. Now make this line a construction line and should be collinear with the last curve. Trim unwanted curves and exit the sketch. Now create a new datum at the edge of the line. Start a new sketch on it. Create a close profile with the proper selection of points. And exit the sketch. Select a swept command. Select a close profile. And press mouse wheel. That means mouse button 2. Select the guide curves one by one and don't forget to press mouse wheel every time you select the new curve. That's it. If there are two cylinders like these and you want a rib between them, then just start a new sketch, select the plane where you want your rib, go into the isometric view, select the intersection curve and select the face of a cylinder and click apply. Now select the second face and click apply and exit the sketch. Now select the rib command. 
select the plane where you want your rib draw a line and exit the sketch now in the t block like this select the rib command select the plane where you want your rib create a line exit the sketch and the rest is the same let's look at the next example now in a shell rectangle select the rib command click on the plane draw a profile of your rib exit the sketch make sure you are selected the perpendicular section plane specify the thickness you can also provide a draft to this rib with a specific angle you can also offset the height of this rib to specify the exact offset go to the cap here you can mention the offset value you cannot mention the negative value in order to offset it on the on other side just drag it on that side and mention the offset that's it for the week if you like this video make sure you drop a like down below subscribe my channel if you haven't done already and comment down below if you have any questions this is bushan wag signing off